clear that there was no room in, in the car to take this bacha. But my Zaydi saw, it was a Talmud of his, and he says, I don't know if you remember, there are banim, the rubs, the litvish rub, that, and the rebbe's also, they wore these very heavy winter coats, you know, with the far, it was very, you know, in the winter, they, 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 they dressed very well. They were used to it in Europe, and they dressed with heavy coats. So he said to Alam, and the Alam Rashi was that with me, he says, Alam, let's take off our coats. Take off our coats and our hats. They put in the truck, and all of a sudden, there was space for this bacha. And this bacha, 35 years, remembered the sensitivity that Mazzetti had to him. It stayed with him. So it's not only really the learning, but it was, he felt to everybody. So without further ado, I'm going to ask my brother to say this year, I think a little bit's going to come from Imre Avigda, and maybe some of his own. This before this year, and not the breakfast after this year. So I guess you weren't thinking of the person who's saying this year, so, where, so where's the Makar? Where's the Makar for such as that? You should say, you should have the breakfast first, and then afterwards you say, and then afterwards, where's the Makar for that? So I, it's, I think some of the, some of the, 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 the it comes from, from Yitzchak. What happened by Yitzchak? Yitzchak, he told, he told Yaakov to get the Matanim, right? And afterwards he gave the bracha. I mean, first you have to, you have to be Shmaki to good matam, and then afterwards you can hear, you can get a good bracha, you can have a good shir. Okay, so that's the stumble of the car in a minute for this. I'll, I'll eat breakfast afterwards if you leave me something over. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're starting off with the Gemara in, in it's a Mishnah in Rosh Hashanah. So on the pages, I did a little cut and paste over here. On your on the first page, off to the right, you see the first arrow on the right hand, up the right hand side. It's, a, it's the arrow there. And this Mishnah, the Mishnah is, this is the Mishnah which starts off with the Chiyuvim of someone being mighty another person in, in let's say, Brich Samitzvah. We'll take Brich Samitzvah in a second, we'll see if we get to Brich Samen. It says in the Mishnah, at the end of the Mishnah, it says, Zeklal, kol she'enin l'chuyiv b'davar, a person who's not l'chuyiv in the mitzvah that you're trying to be mighty in him, e'enin mighty se'rabi de'chavasa. So it seems to be a very s- simple klal, a simple rule, general rule, and if you're not mechuyiv in the mitzvah, so then you can't be mighty someone in that mitzvah. You have to be able, you have to be obligated in that mitzvah in order to be able to be mighty someone. <coughs> That's the Mishnah. Now, I, I, I cut off a little bit on the bottom, but I'm going to read up from the Gemara in, in, in Rosh Hashanah. The Gemara Rosh Hashanah says, Tana avad bered rav zera, kol ha-brachais, kulon So here we have another angle on this, is let's say a person was already yoytz in the mitzvah. He has the chiyav mitzvah. And he was already yoytz the mitzvah. And now he wants to be mighty someone else who wasn't yoytz that mitzvah. So chutmi, birchas alech, birchas ayayin, he's allowed to do it. We'll see what that's the Allah from birchas anen. But let's say you take a typical birchas a mitzvah, let's say, let's say Kiddush, for example, which we're going to talk about. Let's say he was already yoytz the Kiddush, and someone else wasn't yoytz the Kiddush. He could come and be mighty the other person in Kiddush. The question is, how is he allowed to do that if he already was yoytz his mitzvah already? So Rashi speaks out, and all we show him go with his yisari. And it goes through us arms. Rashi says, Shall I call Yisrael the ravens that bezel mitzvahs? They will all are raven for each other for, to do mitzvahs. So based on the cloud of our arvis, that's how you could, even if you were already yoytz in the mitzvah, you could be mighty someone else in the mitzvah that, that, he, that he wasn't yoytz in. Also, the of arvis. Now if we go back to the Mishnah, and the Mishnah says, the Mishnah is not talking about the case of Afish Yotzim Mitzvah. The Mishnah is talking about a case that a person who's not Mechayiv in a Mitzvah could be Mitzi. And that the Mishnah says, if you're not Mechayiv in the Mitzvah, then it seems like for the Mishnah, you can't be Mitzi, the Rav, even if you have, even if you have Aris. Means even, which we could clear, is the Mishnah talking about a person in general who is in the parish of Arvis? And uh, that the Mishnah is saying, even if you're in the parish of Arvis, if you're not Mechayiv Bedov, any Mitzvah Rav Dechavosan, was the Mishnah talking about where there's no parasha of Arvis, of, in, in, which we'll see what Arvis means. Let's that, all clear that here. So if you look in Rishonim, Rishonim have two di- variations in what Arvis is. If you look, we have, on the, on the second page, I have a Ritva. Let's see the Ran first. So on, the top, on, the top, on the top of the page is the Ran, the second page. To the arrows. So he's going on the Gemara of, Ar- of Arvis and he's explaining, like Rashi, Sharei Koi Yisrael Arei Mizel Lezel Mitzvah. The Ran adds something that Rashi doesn't have. The Kivin Shelo Yotze Chaveroi Kimi Shelo Yotze Hudani. So Ran seems to say, says pretty clearly, 
that the Yisoyed of Arvis is, that when we, when, when we, when, when we were nichol in the Pash of Arvis, was that not only do I have to do my mitzvah, I have to make sure he does the mitzvah too. But what, what's the re, what's the get the why, how do I do that? How do I do that? I, I was going to the mitzvah already. So the Ran explains that Arvis creates the fact that it's evil that I'm not, I was in Yoytzeh my mitzvah. My mitzvah wasn't fully done if, if someone else was not Yoytzeh. Someone in Klai so needs a mitzvah to be done, and I didn't know I did my mitzvah already. Since he needs me to facilitate him to be Yoytzeh the mitzvah, it's, he, it's as if, because of Arvis, I was in Yoytzeh my mitzvah completely. So if you want to say, it, what, to elaborate a little more, that means when the Torah gave us mitzvahs, the mitzvah, let's say, for instance, the mitzvah we said before was Kiddush. So the Torah gave the Yidden mitzvah of Kiddush. You have to do Kiddush. When the Torah gave you that mitzvah of Kiddush, the mitzvah was given to you, and to make sure, if you want to be to that mitzvah of Kiddush, your Kiddush that we're giving you, make sure that other person does do his Kiddush. So it's nichol, in, inclusive of the mitzvah of Kiddush is that you should do it, and you should make sure that someone else does it. If, even if when you're, you're, even though you did yours already, if he wasn't, so it's, you're missing, you're lacking in your mitzvah of Kiddush by not making sure that that person does the Kiddush. That's what it seems like clearly from the Ram. If you look at the Ritva, the Ritva on the bottom, on the right hand side, says it differently. The Ritva says, Tana Avo Bered Rav Zeira, over the hour is, Pir Kol Brach Sam Pir Brach Sam Mitzvah Pishyot Samoyzi. Sha'afal Pishyot Mitzvah Matel Sakol Echad. The Mitzvah is a Motel on every person. Arei Kol Yisrael Reim Zeh Ozeh. But he says, the Kulon Kaguf Echad. And then he uses the Lashon, Uka Arev HaPere Echad Chameira. Like an Arev, Arev is a co-signer, and he's helping pay back the Chayv of his Chaver. And then he goes to something else. It would seem like the fact that he's comparing it to an Arev, now an Arev is not a, does not have the Chayv. He's not the one who's responsible. But he's being nice, and he's the person who's being the co-signer for a person who actually has the Chayv. So it sounds like from the Ritva, completely different than, than, than the Ram. It sounds like from the Ritva that even someone on the outside who does not have this Chayv, like an Arev, he could be, he's still responsible through the parish of Arvis He's still responsible for someone else's chay, which is the mitzvah, which is over here talking to the mitzvahs. So he's responsible for someone else's mitzvah. So he's out, he did his mitzvah already, but now there's someone else who has a chay, Arvis could create the fact that I could do something for another person. So it seems clearly from the Ran and the Dva, there's two different mahalchim in how Arvis works. What well, would the Ritva say? It becomes his. Arvis says, just like you owe $1,000, I'm your backup. I owe $1,000. They don't come after you, they come after me. But also, by the way, that's, he doesn't say Aru Ka, there's no difference between Aru Kaplan and not Aru Kaplan. He's a regular Aru. Aru Kaplan means you go directly first to the Aru, right? He is a regular Aru. He's the secondary the Aru. Right, yeah, yeah, but, 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 right. but he goes afterwards, he can go to the Aru. Some right. he's completely he's still, an outsider. Goes, right, because he has that price over here. He right. took on that price. Right. You're a Christ like my price. Right. Right. What, about, what about, he says, so, Kuhn Kuguf Echod. What's the in that? Kuhn Kuguf Echod seems right. to be much more like the run. There is much more it's like that, but the... But the but he's saying that also. The I'm crux. The crux of the word is that you could be someone on the outside and still paying back. So it could be, we said before Chakira, I'm just saying before, it could be very possibly that we just said before Chakira, it could be totally on those two stars, of the Ran and the Dva. What do I mean to say? But if you learn like the Ran, it's clear that if you don't have the mitzvah, then you can't be an Ari for the person. Because the Ran says clearly, the Yisoyed of Aramis is, that you were in Yotzeh, the mitzvah that you gave me. That have, means that, that mitzvah. If you weren't given that mitzvah, if you weren't given Kiddush, then you're, there's no din of Arvis to make sure that the other person, Ruvain, should be able to do to, do, to, be able to do Yotzeh Kiddush. But according to Ritva, it's possible, no. Even as Kukul and Echad, but you're an outsider. Even though I'm not the one who technically was responsible for this mitzvah, it was the, it was the other person's chay, but I could come on because of the parish of out, Arvis on the outside and to be helping with that. Which so kind the, of case would be an afternoon? We're going to see in a second. Okay. Okay. Exactly. We're going to go through my, what did afternoon is going to be. It's a, it's a three six. It's a round sound over here. We're back, we're forward. I've never had right. Maybe I just see it over here. It's a round sound. We have this round sound. It's got the inside of the back. Kick me. It's a round sound. Okay, so we're going to see in a second. These two studs that we're going to see, this, we're going to see that it's machlekes, a big machlekes achreinim, and it could be it's even machlekes rishonim. How to learn up what we're saying now in Avos? If we're going to go to now the Gemara, I have on the first page where the arrow is on the left-hand side, where it says 
Question is, he now ha- he needed he was sitting down with his wife and he needed someone to bench for him. He was worried about benching, worried about killing out the Chum, he had no problem with that. <laughs> that he had no problem, but he was worried about benching now. Okay. So he, he told his wife, Do you have anybody, do you know anybody that we can get? Can we get a Talmud Chokhim? Because he knew there was not too many around. So she's the famous Gemara. She went and said, I'll, t- I'll make a deal with you if you don't make sure you don't kill him. Right? Don't kill him. Don't trap it. I'll bring him in. Okay? So she got him out of the cave, right? And she called him. Her brother. Her brother. Her brother. Her brother. She brought her brother out of the cave, and, she's, and he said, okay. And he said that he, the Gemara says that he, um, you have the Gemara on the bottom over there, on the first page, on the bottom, on the bottom left hand side. So he, so he said to him, what should I do? I didn't eat anything, so he ate something. Any, 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 any bench for them. So then the Gemara says back to them on the bottom, Amar Rav Amar So he argues on Rav Shem Meshach. only drank something over there. And, and he says, no, you have to eat a Kazayi's Dogon. But if you eat a Kazayi's Dogon, then you could be mighty then. So it sounds like from the Gemara over here, and the all the Shem left this Gemara, that even though Kazayi's is only a Chiv de Rabbanin, and Assuming that Yanni had a good a good festa meal, right? He ate kadei svia, and his and his wife ate kadei svia. So the question is: so now, how was he able to be mitzi him? He was only mechuyv bin rabbanan, and Yanni was had kadei svia. The chalta zvater after as the chiv bin atayr of them. So how was he able to do that? That's First of all, what you're saying is a big, is a big machlok is rishayim, because it could be benching. Bechlal doesn't have ours, because like you said, a and mitzvahs. The Gemara says 
chutz mi birchas ayayin, birchas alechem, birchas maybe birchas amazon. Since you're not obligated to do it, only if you eat. If you had a just the breakfast, you got a bench. But you don't have to eat the breakfast. I can eat the breakfast, right? You don't have to eat the breakfast. If you eat, so there could be. It's not hard. We'll see in a second. But the other shayim, the rosh and chayis, but there's a bahad and other shayim. If bechlal by birchas hamazon, there's a there's an hour. Okay, but, but, but I'm assuming now the rush is going with it that there's going to be hours, which we'll see in a second. So now the rush is asking a, a simple question. He's asking, if you go back to the rush, the rush is asking this Gemara. We just got through a Gemara. The Gemara said that if women were Bukhi Midra Bona, they, they will not be able to invite see someone who's Mukhi Midra Isa, and that's the difference between, that's the Mara Shaila, if they're Mukhi Midra Isa, Midra Bona. But the Gemara clearly says if it's only Midra Bona, they don't have enough Kayak to invite see someone Isa. The, ru- the Rosh is asking, so why does this Gemara seem to say that, oh, that Shimon Shadda was only Mechuyim and Rabbanan, the only Eka Zayas, how was he able to might see someone? Might see the Yana and his wife, who, uh, his wife, you know, his wife, but Yana, how was he able to might see Yana, who was Mechuyim and Rabbanan? That's the Rosh's question. In time, Ma'ishno Mahad Amin HaKamah, Perek Shloy Shachim, Ahoy Tisachem Midei Chavosin, Ha'ashir Kazayas Dovin, there the Gemara says, Nevertheless, Shimon Shalk was able to be mighty What's the difference? That's the Rosh's question. Now, the, the Rosh is going to say an answer, and there's a famous Machlechus from Rikivega and the Dogma Mavava, who's the Tzlach, the Baal Tzlach, in Brachus, say a different Mahalchim, completely different Mahalchim to answer what is the answer. What's the answer? Yesh Lai, what's the answer? The Lai Dami, the Lai Dami, the Lai Dami. It's not comparable. The Ish, Afal Gavsha, Lo Yachal, like you were saying before, because he's going, that what? There is a Pasha. Din Hu Sheyif Tesachir. Why? The Chal Yisrael Rim Zebazer. El Rabban and Amru. The Rabbani came along and said that you shouldn't make a birchas in without eating something, so he, well, he made you eat a little bit. But really, technically, Tyson, the Rosh is saying you don't have to eat anything. Like we, did, like we said before, if you already ate some mitzvah, even though you're not going to the mitzvah now, you can invite to someone. So even if you didn't eat anything, if Shem Meshach wouldn't have eaten anything, he would have been able to invite Ziyani. The Rabbani came along, asked the you should eat something. Now, you can be might see him. Now, the question is, what's the Rosh's answer? Is the Rosh saying... That, and what does he fear? He goes out and he says, Sha'arv, 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 but the Rabbanan to another the But the Rabbanan to a level, she could be mighty some of the They don't have for that. They don't have That's a regular lock of Shemekai. If I'm a I can mighty some of the is the Rosh saying that women are not Bechlal Arvis? Or is the Rosh saying that women are on the parish of Arvis for, for a mitzvah that they do have, but for a mitzvah they don't have, right? Like over here, by Samazin, they can't have a koyach to be mighty someone else. That's what you can learn the two of the halachim in the Rosh. Now, if you learn the Pashtas, the Lashon Rosh, it's more night to, not like your Kivay, not like you're saying. Because according to Kivay, there really is no difference between a man and a woman. A man has the same halacha as a woman has. Dovars, if the man is parted from a certain mitzvah, a woman is the same way if they're parted from that mitzvah. If a man has that mitzvah, yeah. So a woman who happens to be a brich zamazin, is a tzad of the gemara, they're not mochiv in the mitzvah. But a woman is the same exact thing as a man, for instance. I'll give you exactly enough to me. I think in the Dog of Avavah says, the other tzad is, that women are bechlal in a general umbrella, but not in the parish of Aris. So they can never be mighty someone else in a chiv if they already yoyed to the mitzvah. So for instance, we give an example. You have a woman who has a chiv kiddush. A woman is mechiv kiddush. So let's say another woman heard kiddush already. Could she be mighty? One woman be mighty the other person, other woman. 
So that's clearly the machlekes between Ricky Vega will come out between Ricky Vega and the Dog of Vava. But according to the Dog of Vava, that women don't have a chlala parasha of Arabis. So then once they, that lady was yoitz already Kiddush, so then she doesn't have the Allah of she doesn't have the parasha of Arabis. She won't be able to mercy. But according to Rikiva Ega, the Rosh never said that there's halacha that a women of Bechlal not in the parish of Aris. About they have Aris. Things which are their mitzvahs, they have it. So, male by Kiddush, Kiddush they have the mitzvah, like the Marlon Zav Zav and Shama, Iskish, they have the parish of Kiddush. So, they have the parish of Kiddush. So, now even though she was Yoitzah, she can be mercy another lady in Kiddush. Why not? Why do you say another lady and say another man? It's a lady and man. Okay, we'll see in a second. But technically, that, that, that's an afkamina. That would be an afkamina between the rush, and between the, the double of Vava, and between the, between the Kivayga. That if a woman already has, who has a Chiyad Mitzvah, could she be mighty someone else? And technically, you're right. Technically, she should be able to be mighty because she has that Mitzvah. <coughs> which, which, which is Pash, that's the, that's the din. The din is that we would be another man. She could come and be mighty the other person, other man, because that's a Pasha that obviously she has. That's the rush. Now, if you want to go into it, we could say, before, we made a Chakira before. We had a Chakira, and we said it, it was totally in the Ritzvah and, and, and the Ran. Technically, what we're saying now is that the Machloikis between the Rekiva Ega and the Dabla Vava is really totally what the Chakira was said before. We start out with a Chakira. In the Mishnah, it says, Kol she'enim muchi v'davr, e'enim moitz rab nech of We start out with a Chakira. Is that something, some person who's b'chlal, even someone who's b'chlal arvis? Or is that, Dabla talking about Yerab b'chlal like the Dogma of any time you're in the parish of Arvis, then there's no Allah of Kol Sheini Muchi Because the parish of Arvis, like, like the Rosh is saying over here specifically, if a woman would have been in the parish of Arvis, then even though Hachi was only Midir Abbanan, she would have been able to be Maitzi Samarus Muchi Midaraisa. That means it wouldn't be applicable to them Kol Sheini Muchi And the Gemara says it is any Muchi So clearly it has to be, it has to be, because there's no, there's no parish of, she's not in the parish of Arvis. But someone who's in the parish of Arvis, even if you're not mechui b'dover, then you can you, you can't can be mighty. Mashiach in the Kivayeg is saying, no, of course not. Because the is saying that that is the aside over here. If you're not mechui in the mitzvah, there's no parish of arvus given to you. What's the aside? And if you learn like the Ran, it's beautiful. It means the Kivayeg is very lines himself up very beautiful with the Ran. Because what's the aside of the Ran we said before? The aside of the Ran is that the mitzvah was given you. Let's say, for instance, we said kiddush. We gave you kiddush, and part of your mitzvah of kiddush is. To make sure that another person who wasn't Yitzhak Kiddush, make sure he makes his Kiddush get done. That is Aris. So I mean, Aris intrinsically means that your mitzvah that you have, right, it has to be your mitzvah. The mitzvah that you have, you have to make sure you do it, and you have to make sure your friend does it. That means if you don't have that mitzvah, it wasn't given to you that mitzvah, let's say, but women, but a Muslim, then intrinsically they don't have a parish of Aris. That's Ricky Vega. It lines up with the round beautifully. Mashiach and the Dogma of Ava cannot have learned like that because the Dogma of Ava understands that even if you don't have that mitzvah, the general umbrella of Arvis could help you be, be mighty someone. So that would be on himself a very nice up with the That could argue the prayer, Chayv Chaveru, that someone on the outside, even though it's not your Achrois, the Kachayv, you, you have a responsibility as the parish of Arvis, if you would be in the parish of Arvis, women are not, but if you would be in the parish of Arvis, to be mighty someone else. Because you don't have to have that mitzvah. It doesn't have to be your mitzvah that you're mechuyiv in. So it lines himself up very beautifully. The Rekiva Ega, that learning similar to the Ranz Mahalach, and the Dagom Vava learning similar to what the Ritva is learning, that even though you don't have the actual mitzvah itself, you're not mechuyiv in itself, you still can be mighty someone if you have the Pasha of Arabis. Now, yeah. The Dagom Vava was just saying that women are mechuyiv in Arabis. Not the Pasha of Arabis. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't define how you'd understand what Arabis applies, how it would work. He's just saying women are chutzpah and they're going to cry. Can't, they can't, if, the, if the side of Arvis is, <coughs> the side of Arvis is like the Ran says, then intrinsically it can't be the, the double law. It's going to why, very simply. What is it the Ran saying? The Ran saying when you got him, when the Torah gave you a mitzvah, as it said before, Kiddush, the Torah gave you that mitzvah of Kiddush, to do, make sure you do your Kiddush, and make sure your friend Ruvain does the Kiddush. Now, if you, Nashu, we'll go back to Nashu. Nashim are not mechuyim in Berch Zavazim. means the Torah didn't give them the mitzvah of Berch Zavazim. So they can't have the parish of Arvis. Because they were never given the mitzvah in the first place. If the <laughs> holy side of Arvis... Don't move on to saying women never have Arabis. I understand, but again, we have to understand what is, what is Arabis Bechlal? So he brings mask into the right But no, but it can't, it can't, it can't, if the longest works of Kilo Yatsadami, it can't work if you don't have the mitzvah. 
If you never got the mitzvah, then the Aris can't work there. If the holy side of Aris is because you were given this mitzvah, you have to take it and make sure the other person does it. If you never got that mitzvah, then you can't learn Aris like that. You have to learn Aris differently. You have to learn Aris maybe like the Rebbe. I'm just suggesting maybe it's like the Rebbe. So it seemed like the Machlaikis between the Kivya Ega and the Dabla Vava is really Machlaikis between the Ran and the Dva. And if you look carefully, I think we could say it's Machlaikis between the Tais and the Rosh in a second. If you look at the Rosh, the Tais is. The Tais, if we go back to Rechof, back to that Gemara and Dafchof. First page? Or the yeah, that's on the first page. Right? Back to Rechof. So we said before, um, yeah, so on the, on the left hand side, where it's on the Noshim Brechas Amad Dreis Rabbanim. So we said before there's, that uh, there's a Gemara, the specific of the Chai Dreis Rabbanim, and Rashi says, and the Roshri says, spoke out, what's the reasoning why women would not be Mukhiv in the Mitzvah? Because a lot of the Chalk Barts. So Tais the Esakasha and Rashi. Here's your countries. The south of the took the loy mechay with the rice. So what's the reason? It's, it's, it's underlined. It's not really on the side. Yeah, it's on the other. We see it's on the Russian. So it's on the line. So the Russian, why? We see the Lord says, "Tell us, the Russian are not the Chayyavars. The Russian not the Ayin. The Lord is not the Gad Chayyavars. They are Chayyavars of the Russian, but they themselves didn't have a Chayyavars of the Russian." Direct Tais the question. The Tema. The they got the the the, the, the Ari Miklots, they got up, but they didn't get a chel for it. Then came lo shat lo yitzir chayiv v'dei chavasim v'chazamasim. They also shouldn't be able to imitate. Why is the Gemara declaring only a shaila on 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 women? Kanalim should be the same shaila because they don't have a chel for it. Come to chayis, they only drop one in the kachiv, so man, they wouldn't be able to imitate another Yisrael. Translate the pasuk shaila. If you learn. If you learn like the like the like the Dagum of is saying, the Dagum of is saying that if you're in the parsha of Arvis, right, right, the, the general parsha of Arvis, even if you don't have that mitzvah, you still can be like someone else. No one's going to tell you a kain and a levi not in the parsha of Arvis, right? The rush said it maybe by Nashim, but not by a kain and a levi, even though it happens to be there's a chiddush ticket slach. If you take a look at the slach and brachas, if you get a chance, he says a chiddush nifla that kahanim. I don't have any kahanim over here. He's going to stab you in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Back Take a look at the slot. The slot says that Kahanim is a tzadi has and not in the parish of Arabs. Okay, okay. Take, a look. take a look at it. Tell me, maybe you'll learn a shot. That's what he says. Yeah, it seems to say. But we're going to the Pashtas. The Pashtas says, Kahanim and Levian, Klai Yisrael, the part of Klai Yisrael, and Avad there in the parish of Arabs. So for the parish of Arabs, why would there be a problem that the only Mukhim is Rabbanim? The Rosh himself said that if not for the, like the Rabbanim says, the cash of the Rosh is blatant. If not for the fact that the, Gemara, the Rosh gives it back, the Nosh of Anapa Chal Arvis, the Rosh was very nauseous to say that if you only Mukhim is Rabbanim, you can might see the Raisa. So over here, kind of what's Taisa's problem? You're right, I know the Chayat Barats. But they stuck me might see. So it seems clearly that the Taisa's did not hold of the dog of the Mahalach in the Rosh. Right? This is what's good. And now what did he hold? The Chari held like a Kivega. And he held that if you're not Mechuyiv in the mitzvah, the din of Arvis, like we said before, is the Ran, the mitzvah is given to you and to make sure that your friend does it. So Chan and do not have the mitzvah of Berch Samazim because they're not the Chayat Baritz, so then they wouldn't be able to invite Yisrael. And that's Taisa's Kasha and Rashi. What does They're, the Rosh say? Oh, also? beautiful, beautiful. The Rosh, if you look at the Rosh, the Rosh never brings this Kasha. He brings Rashi's Pshat and he doesn't ask this question. Very good. Because the Rosh, the way the Dog of Obama is learning the Rosh, which I think is the Pashtus, right, is because Avadi wouldn't have this question. Because even if Kahan and the Chayel Baritz, they still can be Moitzi someone else. Because they don't have to be this mitzvah given to them to be able to be someone else. You have the Ritvaz Yisoy Lamdis, and someone else, the Korea, all right, the Korea Chayel Chaveri, you could do it. It's clear. It seems like it would be very Gishmak to learn like that. And I have another Gaval Gadi. If you look, the Toysis in Brachas and Damim Ches, I think clearly over there, Tyson also is Mavur like your Kivayim. And he was going with this Mahal. So, you, 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 have, you have it on the sheet. The only thing is, it's okay. after, after you give a little background on it. Okay. Okay. Look, on, look on the sheet. Okay. It's on the second page on the top, on the top left hand side. So, let me just say what his background is going on. He's going in the mice with Yanni Amel. Now he's going at a Rashi. Rashi speaks out there, on Yanni Amelech over there, that if he would have been, a, if, let's say there would have been a cut in there, could a cut in Midrabon to be Moitzi, Moitzi someone else. So Rashi speaks out, let's read the words of Rashi, on that Gemara. 
Rashi says, like we said, if you eat a kazayis dogen, you could be mighty someone who's mechuyu the rice. Rashi says a chinuch. Then Rashi says vim toimer. Rashi asks the question: the cut in a gil chinuch. Why do we say by cut in a gil chinuch he's mechuyu the rabbanim? Let him also be mighty someone who's mechuyu the So Rashi says a merdi a chinuch, and this is a velt Rashi. Rashi gives us not by yanim but from the stam. Stam in general, in general, in general, cut in a gil chinuch. The Gemara said before, the Gemara said before that the rabbanim can't be mighty the rice. And, ra- and the Gemara says by cotton the same thing also. So he wants to know the similar question. Why can't a cotton, Shimon Mitshatach was only Mechuyim and Rabbanim, he was able to be Moitzi Yani, he was Mechuyim and Raisa, so let a cotton who was Mechuyim and Rabbanim be Moitzi and Raisa. So Rashi says a belt Rashi, and Rashi says that the night is Mechuyim and Rabbanim. Rashi says, Loi Mechayi Valeh, the Vu Hu Di Rami Lechinuchay. And Mori Dika Chiddush Dika Rashi, and Rashi is in a couple places in Shas. The Rashi's sheet is that the Chi of Chinuch is not on the cotton himself, it's on the father. So that's not it's not own personal chiv, it's his father's chiv. So then you're not, if you want to know, it's very interesting to Rashi. Rashi on, on, in, in, in Brachis, on Davchof and Ralf, Rashi says that the reason why, the Mara Soma is what you put, Lashma Pater, Tanama Pater on. So the Mara says, Tanam Paturim Mikri Yishma. Tanama Pater Mikri Yishma. So the Veltri Machlech is showing you what's that going on. Most we show him learning to talk about loy gil chinuch. They weren't, uh, weren't, they didn't reach the, the years of chinuch, and that's why they put them in Rashi shita is even if it's a gil chinuch that put them. Rashi says why? So Rashi says, I feel cut in the chinuch loy tilu al aviv lechanchay be kriyishma v'sheeni matzit tamek kibshun gias ban kriyishma. So they learn up in this Rashi that he's lining himself up in the same chat. With his, it's really shita from ban and mechamis, also a couple places in shas rosh shana and megillah. That, that he doesn't have his own chiv. Who's the chiv? The chiv on the father. And if the father is not matzi to be by him, by this man, chinuch has to be something which you're matzi to be there for. If you're shy to do it. So if he's not matzi, that, in fact, the priest can say, the halacha, the, 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 the cheder beim used to ask a question in the morning, when they used to come back Sunday morning, to, to, should they make abdullah for the kids who didn't, didn't have galanek because they went to sleep? So the psak was, or yasha pasner, a psak priest can pass like that, which is based really on this, on this shita. That if you're not motzi, since they're not around for the mitzvah, they have to go to sleep. So it's not cool. They're motzi to mechanach them on that. So you don't have to. Oh, so you're not You know, I'm chuyiv to give them the chiv abdallah to them because they're not motzi to be able to do that mitzvah. I mean, but more place to hold based on this was based on this Rashi. Hey, kids, we go back to the Rashi sheet is that there's no chiv chinachon. So that's what uh, that's the, the background before we can see Tosis. Tosis doesn't like this. Tosis says the kashuli perusha that on the top on the, on. The, on the second line of that Tosis, on the, on the, you see this is the on the second sheet, on the right, on the left hand side, and off to the side, you see Tosis there, Vakashali Perushai. What's the Debra Maskal? There's no Debra on it. It says Ben Chesim and Beis, and right after that, on the bottom, right after that, it's, it's Tosis. It's, it's, it's the middle of the Tosis. The right side. Okay. Vakashali Perushai. He's asking a question in Rashi. Mikamakim kivin she in a minatayra ain a moitzir b'shemuchiyavim. Okay, and then he doesn't understand Rashi. What do you mean? He's about the Because Taisus holds not like like the Shita, and Taisus of Adi a cotton has his own chiv, and if he has his own chiv, why shouldn't he help him see someone else who has a chiv the Raisa, just like he found by a Shimon Shadak that only happens? Here, Taisus, I'm just going to skip over the Bahad, and I'm going to go to Taisus Terence. Look how Taisus answers the Terence this question. Vidira. You see what it says, Vidira Lechalik? Like about five, five, six lines from where he stuck from his cash. The near lechalik, the cotton she ain't a bar chiyuv climb the raisa. A cotton cannot get a chiyuv raisa at all at, this, at, 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 at his age that he's at until he becomes a mitzvah. I feel also kadei svia. Even if he would have eaten kadei svia, he wouldn't be able to get a chiyuv raisa. The level of the raisa. Hilchoch taisa says, "Eina mechuyu b'dava kriyin be." You're not called the mechuyu b'dava. Now, if you take those words and you paraphrase it, it's that's from Kivega. That means if you don't, ha- if you can never get to your chiv the rice of this mitzvah, your nech sheva ain't a mechuyi b'davar, and ain't a mechuyi b'davar can't be mitzvah and dechavasan. The hainu, if you don't have this mitzvah, it's called it's, that's called the ran again. If you don't have this mitzvah, kiddush, kiddush wasn't given to you. There's no way you could be mitzvah someone else in this mitzvah. So a cotton who can never get generally, he can never get to the, his mitzvah, this mitzvah the raisa, so he can't do it. By shanking a man. Tysus brings Arvis afterwards just to explain why even if he didn't eat it at all, he could make a bracha over here. He could make a bracha technically. But the side of Tysus is, there has to be mechliv in this mitzvah. 
like the rush, if the rush was answering this question, the rush says very simple. That because an ish has arvis and tan don't have arvis, that's the answer, like the rush would speak out. Tan don't have arvis, therefore they can't be mighty someone else. And Shaykhid of Gadol has arvis, he can be mighty. The Taisis had dumb to answer this question is no, it doesn't say that. He says, since he could get to a chiv de raisa, a man, if he ate kadei svil, he could get, a chiv, could get to a chiv de raisa. So since he could get to a chiv de raisa, so then he's in the parsha. But mainly he can be like someone only, even though now he only ate a sheer drabonin. That's who kivay did the gestal, because, because you have to be mochiv in the mitzvah. If you're not mochiv in the mitzvah, you can't do it. Okay. There's, big, there's one big question that kivay Ege asks on the dogma of Question is, we have it over here. Yeah, on the first page. The nearly Raya He wants to be a Raya Brura, a clear Raya, on the, on, the, on the right hand side, on the body. But it says Venerally. It starts with Venerally. Raya Brura to his side, not like the Dogma Vava, that Noshim are not Bechlal in the whole parish of ours. What's the Raya? In the Farish Kavanis, the Rosh if you're going to learn the Rosh Kipshutoi. Like the like the Dogma of Avah learns the time of the Isha Eni Moitzia Hecha Shenim Chiyavus Vedava after Dinim Yotzim Moitzi I'm sure the Ein Arvus the Noshim the Noshim are not Bechlal Arvus in general like the Dogma of Avah learns Yiksha Hamu Yiksha Yavakash Hamu Vur B'Megillah the Mishnah is in Gemara Megillah it's Kipaskin Cheirish Hamedav Vein Shemeya the Man Dama which is Rabbi Yosi holds in Moish Mil Azon Dal Yotzim Eni Yochel Haitz Acher B'Megillah someone who can't hear himself speak he can't be Moitzi someone else in the mitzvah. That's the name. Any yochel at zechem megillah. The who mikri? Why? Ain't a mechiyav adav. He's called the ain't a mechiyav adav. The key, key then yochel at zechem megillah. He can't. So then he's he's looking for the mitzvah. You know, not even ayis. He then learns that's called the ain't a mechiyav adav. And then he can invite someone else to the mechiyav adav. That's the question. Is that yikshul? The ma'ish tomei din yatsmei. Is that left? You don't have a terrace to the rosh. Zok there. The bezel less of the terrace to the rosh. To a mari ba noshim. We're talking about a cherish. A cherish is a is a man. A man is the parish of arvus. So according to the Dalgum of Avo, why should this Cherish be able to invite someone else, even though he doesn't have the mitzvah? A man is in the parish of Arvis, so he should be able to invite someone else, and it's Kipaskin that he can't. Why not? That's what Kivag is cash. The Cherish can't do this. So what? So what? Therefore, since he can't hear, so he would. He would. He, 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 he well, didn't do the mitzvah. Well, he can't do the mitzvah either, and it could be invited if there would have been Arvis. He didn't do the mitzvah because he, 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 he couldn't hear. There's a base. Oh, oh, so he didn't. He didn't want to say. There's a new chesar. There's a new chesar. His ma'aseh mitzvah is a chesar. So, so, uh, so, so, uh, 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 Noshim, if they they can have a ma'aseh mitzvah, they do they do mitzvahs. They have a ma'aseh mitzvah. Cheir shemadav and shemesh. Since lo yishmiel ozn, he can't hear what he's saying. So therefore, and he himself cannot do this mitzvah because he's lacking in lo yishmiel ozn. That means felt that his ma'aseh mitzvah, the actual ma'aseh surah mitzvah that he's doing, is felt. When you have a chsari in your actual ma'aseh mitzvah, then lo yitzur dechavos. You can't invite someone else. Mashenik, if you have it, you could. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, that's true, yeah. But, but again, but the story of love is you, you don't have the you don't have the mitzvah. That's the mitzvah. Why can't you say that the Torah is an artist? Because Hashem is in the parish of artists. He's not able to. In the general, general rule of artists, every other mitzvah, other mitzvahs, they don't need you don't need to be in the shmiel laws. No, you can do mitzvahs. He does tefillin. He does all these mitzvahs. Communicate so well to help other people. That's a chiddush. It's a chiddush not a chalavus. He's in the parish of artists. Just this mitzvah specifically, he can't be yotze. So if Egg understood if he's the Pasha umbrella of Arvis, so why should he be able to he might see someone else? What are, what are the mitzvahs on there that you can say Arvis, but there's no Deber involved? There's no Arvis, but there's no Deber? Pasha's all, all I, I was thinking earlier, like, like what? Where do you have a mitzvah that... that he is Shafi. Shafi is one of the cases also here. That's true. He is Shafi. The Cheyr is Shafi. He brings it down. Yeah. Here, Shaykh, also says, Kivega, don't say that. It's not like, 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 it's not
Maisa Mitzvah, that's what the other answer is. It could be a Shmir yeah. yeah. from a Maisa yeah. Mitzvah. It's not for the end. It's not for the end. But I just want to get it right. So. Okay. Okay. If you want, we want to go back to the Dogma Vava. Okay, I have it on the side over here, but you know, it's, it's very small lettering. The Dogma Vava, who's the one who learned up Shad over here, was the Shiloh. It's Shiloh. It's on the front, it's on the second page, all the way to the left. All the way to the, the left. See it? Yeah. Okay, Ma, he says, you okay, go down a couple lines there. Mashani Mistapik. It's like about eight lines from where he starts. He's the Supik. I feel the Ish Hamakadish Umaitzi Yishtai. Right? Ubene Basin. Now, what's happening over here? He's assuming that he went to Shul, he davened, and according to a lot of Rishonim, he's already Yosh to his Kiddush by his davening. He's coming home. He's the Rice, he was Yosh to that level. And now he's coming home, and his wife is Mukhim with the Rice in Kiddush. So, <laughs> So like the Rikiva it's a because because women are not on Pasha Aris. Yeah, do that with the they have. So I'm yeah, the she does say has a shayla. What's the shayla? Vanoshim shloi spalu chayov min atari im yotze bishmiyosim in ish. The af she bechol abrochas. The aloch is the af is in af she yotze moitzi like the sugi and rashon that you can be moitzi. Hanyi mitam avish she kol shayiv lem zeh pezeh. Kamar she kasev rashi shon. But Rav Kasev rosh. This is the end of the law. This is the goes in Sefer. That one holds. That's why it comes out. What does that mean? Is the pshat that means she can't be an Arab for another person? Right? They were given Arabs. They could also be They could also be given Arabs. Which would sit, would sound again from here again this is soy that even though something a mitzvah, a mitzvah noshim went up the harvest but some of the on the noshim who have the parasha of harvest them they could be like some that's the suffix of the dog and the The kivega says the shita say there's no kinshai shail again that's my point between the kivega and the dog because according to the kivega there's no question about the noshim have 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 harvest so there's no suffix bechal over here and there's no suffix bechal here they have another parasha of harvest. What about the Kiddush? What's the Kiddush? I think it's a Shabbos. It's a Shabbos. It's a Shabbos. It's a Shabbos. But Kiddush on Shabbos, Dr. Morris says on Brachas, if you go back to that Gemara, I have that word, Dr. Morris, Dr. Morris says on the Kiddush on Brachas, even though it's Mitzvah says Van Roma, but the Gemara, the Kuh is Zohar Mishom, because she has Mishom, it's a Shabbos. But you know what it is? It's a Shabbos. So don't remember what the Shabbos was. Does it go the other way? Right. So she's not the Chal Noshim. But are in the parish of Maybe they could be the Urif to help them also. That's a child. Uh-huh. But just to make the Sikuba Dab. So the Sikuba Dab basically is we have two Mahalchim. If Noshim if are, are generally there, they're in the whole parish of Arvis, or they're in the parish of Arvis, but something which they don't have that mitzvah, they can't yeah, do it. They have a giver and, and someone who, who receives. Mm-hmm. Receive, right? Receive right. Would this be a sub- right. Right. Would, would this be a But sub- that's the whole thing that Rishi Rubin brings down now. We're, we're coming home making Giddish. But she might not be the, the, the receiver now. In which case, right. she's not nervous. She can't I, I, she, the kid is on Friday night. I, I made the device. You made it, right? And so, so, so now, and she, she's not. She's not in it. So, I'd receive a part of it. That's a problem. But according to Rikivega, it's not a question because you're going to Yeah. So when you make kiddush at night, think about the Rikivega. We do. Okay, let's do. Most of my kids don't buy this. She's got a staff for listening.